Hey everybody, and welcome to the lounge. We're about to- Oh my chores. No, we're not doing that anymore. I know, I know. We're doing a chill on the grill. We are though, baby, and it's back and I'm excited about it. And this is pretty awesome because we're going to do a dish. Oh, wait a second. We have a special guest. Oh, yeah. I guess we should mention it, right? We should. We should bring him on. Or yeah. her on. Just say him or her to keep it Usually, suspense. though, it's like nice to see the screen. Hey! Oh, yeah, right. You don't need to see the screen. I'm a professional now. Hey, okay. look who it is. It's, uh... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. Uh, yo. So we got Swift here. Or, no, you just go by Jeff Saxton now, Jeff right? Jeff Saxton. Yo, he's got some merch. Hey. Come on, hit the boy up. Get, get yourself you know, Jeff Saxon Vlogs you know, on YouTube.com. Product placements, if you got us some of those shirts, we'd wear them on the show. Well, we're, he said next time he comes over, he's giving us free ones, right? Wait, what? Freebies? It well, usually like, get it out free like, ones. Well, it took like three weeks for this to come in for me. Well, guess what, I man? mean, it was custom made. If you, uh... It's custom. Feel the fabric on this. It's, uh, it's, it's nice. Free, yeah, it's beautiful. Free, free anyway, through, though. Anyway, so what we got... Yeah, we got... We're going to do a chill on the grill. As soon as we told Jeff that, it was like, yo, I'm I'm there. <laughs> we figured, we figured, what a good way to get a cameraman. <laughs> he will work for food. He had a sign. Literally, he said, I will be your cameraman for food. We can't afford to pay nobody. It's a perfect fit. So we're going to get food. Legit, it, it was actually like that. I just got done live streaming for 24 hours straight. I've been up right, for 20 hours straight. So, <laughs> we're like, hey, I'm like, crazy. hey, I need what? food. He They're talks like, come talk for us. Yeah. That's 24 hours. I can't believe you did that. Now, here's to you not drinking because you just yeah. did 24 hours of video. Yeah. Thank you. Because he has to drive and he'll fall asleep. What are we making today? We are making. I like food. Poutine fries. So that's. Wait. That's Some people good. pronounce it poutine fries. It, you mean like cheese fries and gravy? It has gravy and it has red meat. And, it, and you cheese? can use cheese curds, but we're, we're not using cheese curds. Okay? No cheese? We are having cheese. Yeah, so Ooh, cheese like fries cheese. is gravy. That sounds no, like I used to eat it all the time at the diner. Did you? I would get cheese fries and I'd dip it in gravy. Yeah, I, but this is a little <laughs> bit different. This is a big dish in Canada. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah. I know poutine is, but I think thought it was just cheese fries and gravy. Is it, it different? Pretty much. Well, rib meat. Ooh, I like sure rib meat. Sure rib, sure rib meat. So we're My Matt, Matt. <laughs> sure rib meat. I bet. <laughs> See, that's Jeff. He comes over here and must mess with Wait, <laughs> what? Why are you playing me? Oh. Who got the? Let's, I got it. Let, let, Yo, we could have finished this. Let's just go. Wait, let's just go cook some food. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the list of ingredients that we're gonna need for making that. We're gonna get the short rib meat going because that takes the longest. It takes three hours. So we're, we'll start over here. Um, we're going to have I think it's three pounds of short ribs. And remember, short ribs are beef, not pork. Uh, we have olive oil. We have three cans of gravy, beef gravy. Um, this is, I'm gonna pick it up to, to tell you guys, it's 10 and a half ounces for each one of these cans. So we're gonna use three of them, salt, pepper, we have some uh, garlic, we have an onion, and we have some tomato paste. Now this is unsalted, you can get salted. We'll put our own salt in with that. Uh, we have our french fries, which we are not gonna use now. We just have these out to show you the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Monterey Jack cheese. You can use cheese curds, or maybe a mild cheddar. It's up to you. But for right now, we're gonna get this part and put them back in the refrigerator. We're gonna get this part started because this takes the longest. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour three tablespoons of olive oil in our, we're using a Dutch oven. Now you can use a skillet, but it has to have a lid for this uh, because it's gonna cook for a long time. So we're gonna get that nice and hot. In the meantime, what I did is I chopped up the onions, right about this size, you wanna chop them up. That's the whole, not onions, onion. And I have about a tablespoon of garlic in there, which is about four cloves. Um, and right now, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on my, on my meat. And season that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear that. I'm gonna turn these. And then we're gonna sear that in the pan and get that going. All right, so what we're gonna do is the pan's nice and hot, so we're gonna put the, the short ribs in here, and we're gonna get them going, and we're, what we wanna do is we wanna get them nice and brown on all the sides of them to sear that, sear all this meat in, all the nice juices and everything in there. We 
get them going. Once we get them browned on each side of that, what we'll do is we'll go to our next step, which is going to be take them out and then get the other stuff started, and then we'll be putting them back in. Okay, guys, I have to explain something first. In case I looked a little frazzled, I was. And if you notice that the lighting is a little bit different, it's because our electric was out. But we had the light from the camera, so we were using that. But it still made it very difficult because that battery doesn't last all that long, so we had to keep turning it off real fast. So anyway, as you can see, I had a little, I had a little headlamp out here so I could chop the onions and stuff. That's right, that's called dedication, you guys. Anyway, so we got this going here, and as you can see, it's getting there. We're gonna let that go a little bit longer, get that sear just a little bit darker, and then we're gonna turn it. Okay, I wanna just show you guys what they should look like when you turn them. You see how nice and dark that is? You don't want them black, naturally. You don't want them burnt, but you wanna sear them nice and good like that. And then just keep turning them. I even like to put them on the edges, too. Sear it all the way around. And as soon as we get that set done, then we'll show you what's next. As you can see, they're all nice and seared now. So we're going to just put them on a plate, set them aside for right now. So what we're going to do, remember you got all them good juices in there right now. So we're going to take our onion and we're going to get them going. Be careful because, you know, this oil is really, really hot. It'll burn you. So we'll get them going in there and our garlic, we're going to put that in there. Get them going. We want to get them caramelized. We're going to put a little salt and pepper in there too. Okay, and then I'm going to just keep stirring that around. You don't have to keep stirring, but I mean you want to get them nice and brown. Not burnt, just brown, all right guys? And then we'll show you the next step. One important thing, well the, the onions are just about done. I'm gonna give them one more sec couple seconds because I just wanna say this. I forgot to say about the heat. We have this on medium high, okay? Now after we get this all done, we're gonna put it on the back burner with the lid on it on low. And then we're gonna let that go for three hours. Also, I hope the camera works really good because I have a different camera person, smart ass, um, working it right now. Um, somebody who wants to be anonymous, but, so we're gonna, <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our tomato paste, right? I'm gonna take about two big old glops in there. This stuff is thick. All right, we'll get that in there, and then I'm gonna take my three cans of gravy. You can use the same spoon. Uh, uh, don't worry about that sound in the background. Somebody put something in the microwave while I was filming and wasn't thinking straight, so that's okay. You know, little tiny glitches like that happen every now and then. I'll have to talk to my production staff and see if I can't straighten them out. Most of the time it doesn't work though. They try to straighten me out. Anyway, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that stirred up in there. Get that all mixed up really well. Splatter oil all over the place. Cooking is always a nice mess. So there we go. Now I can put the, the uh, short ribs back in here. I don't want to just throw them in there because you want to make sure that they're all spaced apart in there so they can get all that goodness all over them. I could just munch on one of these probably right now. Be a little rare in the middle, but man, it looks good. And don't forget, there's gonna be juice on the plate. You don't waste that stuff. You put that stuff right in there too, because that's the good stuff. It's called Flavor City. Okay, so just make sure that they're, they're all in that liquid nice and good. Put a lid on it. Somebody tells me to put a lid on it a lot. Don't forget to get your trusty pot holders. Chill on the grill. Somebody made these for me. Put them on the back burner. Turn that off. Turn that on to low. Oh, I almost turned it off. Very, very low. Okay. 
almost as low as you can go without turning it off. Then we're going to just put our timer on for three hours. Wait a second. Does it go by hours or does it go by minutes? Keep going. Yeah, right. That's right. Three hours. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I don't know. I thought I heard somebody. Hey, I got spirits in this house. Anyway, so you just let that go for three hours and then we'll show you the next step what's going to happen. And uh, obviously, I am cooking this before I actually need it. This is uh, actually going to, you can cook this the day before. You don't have to cook it the day of. Um, and then you can just put it in there and reheat it for when you're going to put it over top of the fries.